All right, in this video here, I want to talk about my uh, trading strategy setup uh, and using NinjaTrader 8, you know, how I enter my trades, but specifically the strategy and what I'm looking for. This is for beginner traders out there, those that are, you know, looking on YouTube, trying to find uh, a system that may work for them. Now, I trade supply and demand, and the strategy is just looking for confluence using two charts, a higher base chart because we want to have a top-down analysis. Uh, and then moving down to a lower base chart to take my entries. Now, the lower base chart in which I take my trades from, that helps me get into more of a precise entry point. But the zones in which I'm looking to mark up, off it starts off the higher base chart, okay? Because your higher base charts are going to be more powerful, uh, and the moves are going to work out more so in your favor if you mark them up from a higher base chart and then move down looking for a setup on the lower base chart. So... Um, this is pretty much the cornerstone to actually how I trade. So today I took a trade setup. The only one I took was long. Um, particularly I, a week like this, this is NFP. I will not trade on NFP day. Okay. On the, this economic news event, because there's just so much uncertainty that happens on um, this specific day. Um, and, and, and even at FOMC, because, you know, the market kind of is just, I've, I've done it so, so many times, uh, meaning, not trading on this particular day, but I've, I've had experience and reviewing the markets and look at the markets around economic news events and seeing that NFP week, especially NFP day, the market can do some crazy stuff. All right. And um, it's just one of those those days or uh, times that we really probably want to stay out of the market. OK, especially if you're up for that for the week, you're taking a, a few trades already in the week, you're positive, then you may want to stay out NFP. OK. So, but I just took a quick scalp on the NASDAQ 100, and I'm going to use this example to show you the trading strategy setup on NinjaTrader 8, okay? Uh, this is how I built an actual business around this model or system that I put together that has allowed me to be, be consistently profitable daily. You don't have to be in trade setups all day long. You don't have to be taking four and five and six setups. One to two is all you need to really do. If you take the first trade, and let's say, for example, you um, cut your losses early, but maybe you had a small loss, then maybe, maybe you take a, a second entry, but two, I would be done. That's what I've been working on, and this is what I'm here to explain to you, is that you have to make changes within yourself. As the market is changing, as a trader, you have to change as well. You have to, if you want to make a business out of this and do it from home, meaning creating your own business model uh, around you being your own employer, your own boss, and controlling your own destiny because the sky's the limits in this business as far as how much you can make. But just don't get overzealous and greedy in this business. Take what you made that day, live to see another day, and do it in repetition every single day. And then that way, at the end of the week, you can look back at your account and say, hey, I did well this week. Now I got to do the same thing next week. But the beauty and why I love trading is because I don't have to worry about the nuances of all the, the you know, the, um, intricate details of operating a business the only person i can be mad at in, in myself is at myself uh in this business here okay because i just didn't be patient enough patience is key but without further ado i don't want to keep rambling on and talking about it. i just want to show you the setup because what you need to do is just ultimately just figure out the direction of the market okay and this is why i always recommend using a higher base chart to start with all right so look if the market is moving to the downside okay you see it moving to the downside right here all right even though we kind of look like we're moving sideways right here you can see where it was moving lower and then it was slightly bearish on this day here the fourth okay then it moved lower all right right here we came down to test these lows but then it turned back up and started breaking structure back above all right and then the close of yesterday what did we do we started moving lower breaking structure lower took out all these lows right here so then that put us into a bearish mode or stamp uh, stance especially going into Asian, into the London session, all right? But if you take a close look to what happened during the London session, this is why I say market structure is king, and you have to be able to understand there could be any, at any time, there could be a reversal to where your bias may shift from bullish to bearish, bearish to bullish. So we see in, in, in London this morning that the market was bearish, but then it transforms or changes and starts to do what? Break structure higher, meaning we had this low down here, it made a high, pull back, and then it broke structure, say, to the upside right here, right? So not taking out the lows. If we're not taking out the lows, then the only thing we could be doing is moving higher. So we should be looking for opportunities to be, you know, pullbacks to go long, right? 
So, uh, you know, shortly after the market opened up, again, we had there was NFP 830. Stay away from this craziness. This is on a 120 range chart in which I look to take my trades from. OK, um, so when the market pushed up, pullback, all this was during news news. OK, and you can see it up 830 up until around 930. I'm not going to be in the market because the market is that's this is a a heavily impacted news event. So I'll, days like this, I'll wait for the market to actually open up. All right, pre market on this day, and eh, I'm kind of staying away from it unless I'm doing looking at the market around 7:30, and then around 8:15 is the max on which I'm going to be looking to to um, I'm going to be out the market by but definitely by 8:15 on this definite uh, high impact news event. Okay, so. But what I did see, we could, we could you all see here, it did make a low, but the low was not taken out, you know, immediately. It just kind of started pushing back up, all this due to the news event, but then the market came back, okay? What I saw when we had structure being broken to the upside here, it broke here, it started breaking out structure here, to the upside, push, pull back, and then broke structure again here. It left behind this beautiful area of demand, okay? This is all from that news event, okay? Aggressive buying, because that's all demand is, but we have a nice break of structure where the market pushed up, pulled back, took out the highs here, ramped higher, took out the highs here, broke another area of structure, taking out two areas of structure and leaving behind this beautiful area of demand on my higher time frame 120 range chart. So I'm interested in this zone right here. OK, yes, it did push up, pull back and then break structure higher, leaving this demand area here. But I would rather look at this area here because we're at the lower portion of this leg of this move to the upside where we got the first break of structure take heed to that the first break of structure to the upside or downside um to where the market is either bullish or or, or, or bearish in this case here we're aggressively bullish to the upside taking structure out this was the first area where mar the market really was breaking a, a beautiful area of structure um down here towards the lows of this leg to the upside and i'm going to be interested here OK, more so than right here. I'm not saying the market can't reject right here. The market's going to do what it wants to do. But this area makes more sense for me. OK. All right. Because this is where the, the 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 bullish movement really started moving to the upside. So I'll wait. I mark the zone, my higher base chart. And then really, it's just very simple because you just boil what it boils down to is just you just move down to a lower base chart, whatever you may be used. If you use time based charts, then that's fine. OK, um, if you use tick. That's fine. Use volume based charts, whatever the case is. I use range based charts. They work for me. All right. Only because I like the way they move. And to me, just visually, I'm able to see the movements better. OK, so I love range charts. OK, but the market pulls back to this key area right here of demand. So then I'm just going down to my lower base 24 range chart, which is my entry chart to look for a demand setup as well. OK, if I could find a demand area inside this bigger zone off the 120 range chart then that makes sense to me and i'm going to look for an opportunity to go long because now when we move down to the lower base chart we're looking for a demand setup hopefully within this bigger zone here on the 120 range chart then the last part is just waiting for the confirmation and rejection to go long so now let's move down to the lower base chart so this high right here that the market made off of this leg to the upside here is that same leg that I showed you on the 120 range chart. We're on the 24 range chart now. It pulls back this big rectangular box here. That's that 120 range demand zone. So all we do is wait for it to tap that zone and then look left to see if we have a demand area with inside that zone. Yes, we do. We have a demand area right here inside the zone of the 120 range. So we got a 24 range demand zone tucked inside the 120 range demand zone. Blow it up for you a little bit so you can see it. See it right there? Let me make this. This is it right here. Okay. All right. That's it right there. You got a break, break of structure right here to the upside. Demand left on the 24R inside the bigger 120 range box or rectangle box. So when it tapped there, look, how, look, at, look what it did. No closures inside the zone on the 24 range. All right, the zone is that smaller box on the 24 range. So a demand within a, a demand, higher base demand, lower base demand, and then all we're looking for is a break and close of a candle above to give us our sign or signal for rejection right here around 18,778. We go long, okay? 
The simply put, okay? It, 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 this, the, the strategy is very simple. Just back test it, forward test it, practice it, and practice it, okay? But then a lot of people say, well, where do we take the trade back going to? Well, I mean, you see all these gaps coming down to the downside, these fair value gaps, whatever the case is. The market can tap in any one of these areas, all right, and fill these gaps and then continue moving to the downside if it chooses to. It did. It came back up, filled this gap here, uh, and this gap here, and this gap here. It filled all the way back and filled three gaps back to the upside. So it came all the way down to 18,765, say, okay? And then it moved all the way back up to 18,882. It moved over 100 points, pretty much 100 and, what is that? Almost 120 20 points? Almost 120 20 points right there. Back to the upside. Beautiful move to the upside. You could capitalize. I always talk about getting your first 20 points and then allowing a runner to run to see where it can go. Get your first 20 points on the NASDAQ. If you got three contracts on, take two off and let the last one run. If you got two contracts on, take one off and let the last one run. If you're trading with one contract, then take your 20 points and be done. Okay? All right? Or, and maybe look for another setup to get another 20 points, get your 40 points. Then that's good because 40 times... You know, 40, if you got 40 points out of the NASDAQ on, on say two trades, for example, right? Times, times, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Times four because it's four ticks in every point. And you picked up 126, 100, not 126, 160 ticks on the day. If you did that just in one trade on one contract, pick up 20 points, then 20 times four. Okay. What's that going to give you? That's going to give you 80 ticks on the day. You, you've done well, especially if you're trading the E mini. Uh, NASDAQ 100 futures, okay? So, again, I've shown this in multiple ways of, of, of trading and becoming profitable on the daily, whether you're trading the micros or the e-mini. This is what I'm talking about, being able to build up a business by profiting and being consistent each and every day. You don't have to be greedy and make money in this business to be able to grow a small account or to be able to compound an account. That's the business side to it, is to understand how to read and understand the market, okay? So you're learning uh, information, you're learning how to trade the correct way and a strategy and, a tr and you also want to build your own personal trading plan to adhere to how you're going to trade, okay? And stick with that. Don't deviate from your trading plan. I've talked about this in the past, whatever that plan consists of, all right? And your strategy is part of that plan. So you don't want to deviate from that plan. That's your business model. Your trading plan and how you trade how you learn how to trade and being consistent, all that makes up your complete business model and what you need to focus and stay, uh, you know, glued to so that you can keep doing things in repetition to make money every single day. It's no different than someone else creating a, uh, a business model around a business they've created. Okay. I mean, in an actual, uh, company or at a specific location or storefront or whatever it may be, you're just doing it from your home. And this is how you can start an actual day trading business right from your own seat of your home or your own desk environment. That's it. So just practice this strategy over and over. Again, I'm using this on the Ninja Trader 8. Now, how do I go about placing my entries? I use chart, the, the chart trader most times on, on uh, Ninja Trader, or you can use the Superdome as well. But I just go up here uh, to this tool right here. Okay, and then I go down to chart trader and to the right, it's going to bring over my information to where I can buy and sell, you know, um, you know, the contracts or whatever the case is, or buy into the market or sell the market. I typically enter with a, um, a limit orders on when I'm going along, I will select uh, buy bid. Okay. Uh, and I would do sell ads if I'm selling the market, okay? I don't go in with market orders. I don't want any slippage when I'm entering trades, okay? Because there will be some if you go directly in with the hit a market order. The market could have already moved away a few ticks, maybe even a few points, depending on how it's moving. But that's how I do it, guys. I mean, it's pretty much easy. You can do this right from your own home. And, you know, I'm not telling anyone to jump ship from their personal job, from their, you know, daytime job or, uh, uh, you know, nighttime jobs, whatever the case is. You want to be able to prove to yourself that you can do this consistently um, and, and try it part from a part-time business. I mean, from a part-time standpoint, is what I'm trying to say, to prove to yourself that you can. You know, maybe start with just a few hundred dollars in your, in your trading account. And then if you can grow that account, that's going to be a sign that you're doing something right. And then you have to make a choice eventually over time, you know, if you want to do this full time to, to jump ship and, and be able to work from home and do this yourself. All right. But I just want to share this with you guys. Uh, but this is how I actually, you know, 
use Ninja Trader A. I trade from this platform here, and uh, this is the, the trading strategy that I actually use on a daily basis. Okay, appreciate everyone that continues to watch the videos. Uh, hopefully, these videos inspire you. Hopefully, these videos help out. If you're not a current subscriber, please take the time, click on that sub button down below. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of the uploads here on the channel. Okay. Anyone that's interested in joining the Discord, the link is down in the description portion of the video. If you're interested in becoming an elite member for a very small fee of only $6.99 a month, now I'm going to tell you, what you get there is the trade breakdowns. These are trades that I've taken multiple, multiple, I mean, there's a boatload of trade videos already there so you have direct access to where you I walk you through trade setups okay that's the biggest thing is understanding the strategy and being able to understand setups or trades I've taken ones that I've posted those trade entries over on the discord and where these are the same trades that I break down to this community okay I go into great detail about these setups so that you can understand and see setup after setup after setup of what I'm taking and why I took the trade where I place my stop losses, where I place my profit targets, and talking about why I took those trades, walking you through the structure uh, so you can understand what I was looking at and why I took that trade, okay? As well as you get the video playlist, and um, I did a great video on market structure. That is a a a, a must. That is something you need to, to really, truly uh, master if you want to make it in this business. So I covered a great in-depth detail video on market structure. And if you're interested in becoming an elite member, when you scroll down to the lower portion, the description portion of the video, you'll see a link right under the Discord link that says become an elite member. Click on that. Two tiers will pop up. Choose the second one for $6.99, and that's going to give you immediate direct access to the um, additional video content for that private community. Okay? I appreciate everyone, again, that continues watching the videos. If you found value in, uh, in this video today, please make sure to click on the thumbs up button, that like button. I appreciate it. Thank, uh, thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend.